You gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. So this is a horror game, mind you. Fair warning. <laughs> that got me the first time. Ask you to join us, sunshine. Sit down, Red. Hello, Redburn here. It has been quite a while since I've last done a random round video, but since a few days back, Fear 2, I mean Monolith Productions, the developer of Fear 2, announced that it was the 10th year anniversary of Fear 2, so I figured out why not? So let's do a 15 to 50 minute video of this favorite of mine. So without further ado, let's start the game. Okay, here we go. So maybe a quick recap is in order, because some of you may not have played the very first fear. So there's this girl, that girl you just saw, she's Alma Wade. She's the daughter of a CEO of a company called Armacam Corporation, if I re remember right. And so these guys are training, I mean have made clone troopers possible that can be commanded by a single psychic commander. But they needed someone to be the uh, what? What do you call this? If it's the Warhammer Forty Thousand Universe, it would be called the Gene Seed of the Psychic Commander, and so that that Gene Seed is Alma, the girl we just saw. You gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. So this is a horror game, mind you. Fair warning. <laughs> that got me the first time. Ask you to join us, sunshine. Sit down, Red. So the voice actress of this one is the voice actress for a Cor Halo's Cortana. What do they want this Aristide chick for anyway? Don't know. Don't care. We don't question orders, Red. We execute them. Stokes, give us what you got. Our target is Genevieve Aristide, president of Armacam Technology Corporation. Intel indicates she's holed up at her penthouse. Our job is to secure the site and take her into custody. Protective custody. I don't want any breakage, even if she resists. And there's every reason to believe she might. We believe she's directly linked to the bloodbath at Armacam headquarters. Like I said, don't know, don't care. She's a high-value target and we've been tasked to bring her in, so that's what we're gonna do. I want this by the book and fuck up free. Lighten up, Tom. She's a suit. What's she gonna do? Send a nasty text message? She's not a part. Said call to his board of directors to try to cover their tracks, which could include making sure RSD keeps her mouth shut. Fox, you're with Stokes. Keegan, you're with me. So this one right here, the scenery right there, outside the armored vehicle. That's an illusion to fear one. Why do I gotta get stuck with Bucket? Because I don't The gray walls, the yellow, what do you call this? Let's move. Post. All those garbage bins. So I, I like that touch very much. What's so important about this chick that the cops can't pick her up? We'd just be glad they didn't divert us to Armacam HQ. Recon team, they say they got ripped to shreds. That situation is getting out of control. That's your stuff, guys. I didn't even get to know what the name of the, that character was. You sealed up in there. Whoa. Sorry about that. Game saved, so... This is some deluxe shit. I remember this part here. Access PDA, more information, okay. Place Genevieve Aristide in protective custody. Rendezvous with your team in the building lobby. So we've got the pistol and the... 
this okay so let's not read this so let's not waste time if you want to read this you can just pause the video if you want to so this is what i hate about fear 2 the androv fd99 it sounds so odd compared to the smg in fear 1 it's, it feels so underpowered the way it fires i'll, I'll show you after this one Use the arsenal selection interface to toggle between three round burst and fully automatic fire. So how do we do that? Let's go to options. How do you change from fully automatic to... Um, see, okay, there's nothing here. Okay, there you go. Cycle fire mode B. Next grenade is X. So, uh, flashlight is H. So that's me. I should remember that. In Far Cry, it's the default for this one is X. So yeah, I should just remember that it's B. But anyway, we got the pistol if you want a semi-automatic fire. Come on, say it, dude. This is some deluxe shit. I still remember you saying that. I've played this game more times than I can count, but that was years ago, back when I was a veritable fear nut. Dude, say it! It's not saying it. Okay, let's shoot this car and serve what he's. There you go. <laughs> I still remember this. What the hell are you doing? Is that your car? No. I like this dude very much. Dude, who do you think is this man? You're just hurting the taxpayers, man. <laughs> so in Fear 1, everything was so... Um, I mean, in Fear 2, there's a lot more going on in terms of color. You but in Fear 1... I, had stables in the middle. <laughs> I like this guy's humor very much. In Fear I'm 1, this... Yeah, yeah. This is what you you were constantly seeing, like monochromatic, almost monochromatic, a uh, blue, gray, green walls, and you know, yellow things in the in the road, and you know, just just office stuff. But in Fear 2, they improved on that, and so this game is more colorful than the first one. But sadly, if you were to ask me, and I play this franchise for What's your status? Looks quiet, top. All right. We're heading inside. From I think 2006 to 2009, it was such a fear not back then. Fe the 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 series largely followed a downward spiral after the first game. Looks like so the main entrance is blocked. It's quite sad. We're locked down. Maybe we should look for another way in. But yeah, each fear game, Fear 2, Fear 3, Fear 1 is a solid first-person shooter in their own right, but the sequels just cannot compare to the first one. Because I don't know. I think they mm, they had this. They had this. Let's not keep the big man waiting. They pinned down the horror thing quite right in Fear One, but then they, I don't know, man. They, I think they just wanted more profit, so they said that hey, the Call of Duty is selling. Hey, Somebody wasted a janitor in the men's room. Point blank in the back of the head. Something went down in the lobby too. One confirmed, another probable. Just about blurred. Hustle it up, people. What was I saying? Yeah, the 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 COD bandwagon thing largely ruined the series. It's it becomes even more apparent in Fear 3. Like, I think the first level is I could really go for an extra hot, no whip, white chocolate macchiato. <laughs> this guy really. <laughs> But yeah, it largely becomes more apparent in Fear 3. Even the first level is... Flashlight is H. Even the first level is a direct rip-off from that Rio de Janeiro um, level in... Also, this is where we're going, but I like to play... Uh, the leave no stone and turn approach. So let's go up, see what we can find there. If we can go up. Oh, we cannot? We can't? What? 
Oh, darn it. But I think, yeah, that, that's barred right there because of the bars. But anyway, yeah, Fear 3. First level is a ripoff from the Rio de Janeiro. Beckett was busy vandalizing shit. We've got trouble. Let's go. See Crouch to have more information. Okay, let's see that. It's just the Crouch and the flashlight thing. Nothing fancy, so let's go back and play the game. How come he gets with assault rifle and I only have a submachine gun? Dude. So if you've played the very first fear and haven't played this, as you can see, it's more colorful. There's a lot more going on in terms of the, the palette. Back from clear. Our intel shows this is a private elevator to Aristide's penthouse, but it's been locked down. I'll need a minute to override the system, unless you'd rather take the stairs. Fuck that. Oh man, that's Somebody gross. Sure bled out fast. Listen to this. Probably took one to the aorta. The <laughs> aorta? You think it was the carotid or the subclavian <laughs> artery? Dude, making fun of a man for his knowledge is a sign of insecurity. We need I have to, to agree with that. Now. Agree. Fox, secure the lobby. Red, take the stairwell. Rest of you, you're with me. The stairs? What the fuck, Top? It's like a thousand fucking stories. <laughs> anyway, give a shit. Uh, going back to the sign of insecurity thing. Come on, Beckett, move yes. Okay, press E to pick up the Intel item. I am simply appalled at the lack of proper security protocol that occurs in this building. Armor Cam Technology Corporation has provided you with state-of-the-art surveillance equipment and security measures. Yet, as I entered the building yesterday, some pathetic mongrel pizza delivery boy was busted in right past the... The... Wait, uh, the front desk with a nary a glance. I want the individual on duty yesterday at 10.30 p.m. dismissed ASAP with prejudice, and the rest of the staff should be re-educated about security policy immediately. I'll be forwarding my full thoughts on your remaining requirements shortly. Okay, so... Yeah, she's quite the um, suit. Activate terminal C. Okay, got that. Anyway, what was, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, signs of insecurity. You know, the amount of anti-intellectualism and anti-intellectualism these days is appalling. Okay. Whoa. What is it? Best part in Fe one of the best parts in Fear Two. Listen to their lines after this. I'll stabilize it. Stokes, Beckett, get moving. The body armor stopped most of the rounds, Top, but one got through. How bad? Not good, but he'll live. You gotta listen to the lines once you get on the elevator. <laughs> I said get moving! Okay, so these guys are carrying weapons with the same ammo that our SMG uses. That's sweet. Tutorials. So that's like the. Right, Hell of a view, huh? All right, Beckett. It's just the two of us. Yeah, it was back in I don't know, two thousand what, two thousand nine. Whoa, whoa. Move up. So if you've listened to that, this thing sounds horrible. I don't know what they were thinking. If you've played the Fear 1, the SMG was so badass in terms of audio. But this one sounds like you're ripping pieces of tissue paper apart. Whoa. 
squad exploded. What? Healthful. Okay, that's her. Healthful, but I'm missing two bars. What? Okay, so that's the armor. So unlike in Fear One, you can you can emulate what the re the um, enemies do by you know flipping this over. But I never really got. I mean, that mechanic is not as u useful as one might think it is. Okay, some machine gun ammo. That's good. What we got here. But this is the part where you part ways with this woman with a beautiful voice. Okay, are you there? You damn well better be. Snakefist says, Damn it, I said stop bugging me. I'm working as fast as I can. I've been here all freaking weekend without AC and eating out of the damn vending machine. Can't exactly order a pizza from here. Wade's lost his mind. This is the father of um, Alma, that girl. The Harbinger candidates will be here shortly. What the F? You said this was theoretical. It was. Are you insane? Oh, wait, of course you are. Don't argue with me, Terry. Who's Terry? I don't know anybody named Terry. What kind of idiot would think about using someone's real name in an insecure chat? Calm down. Uh, wait, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I don't know you. Stop spamming me. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, Snake Fist, up, a snake fist appears to be online. You I'll, find here, I'll find another way in. Of all the idiotic plans. So we're gonna split up. <laughs> Video games, man. Red, where are you? Still climbing stairs. <laughs> That's just sad, man. No other way to put it. <laughs> okay, to Genevieve Aristide. Emma, the vault now. Bad news. I think Harlan is planning to release Alma. So this is what happened in the first fear. Carrying out plan B as you requested. Get ready for a big boom. So Norton Mapes was that um, huge guy in Fear 1. I think he was the MIS guy. So he knew how to, you know, hack into systems and everything that. And everything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Thought processes was inter interrupted by my cuff. And yeah, I'm, I'm drunk as F. <laughs> I'm drinking wine as I'm playing, so excuse the hiccups. Alt is sprint. You know I should change that to shift. Am I? Okay, there you go. Oh yeah, I've already changed that to shift. Okay. Tutorials, armor vest. Okay, got that. Yeah, because um, their project in Fear One was, you know, it it went to the shitter. So, in just like in Half Life, there's a team of Marines going to mop up all the the ones that knew about the I uh, know about the project. I was able to divert the Harbinger candidates to pick up to pick you up as you requested, but I've also been notified that your board of directors dispatched a black ops team to to your address 30 minutes ago. Your survival depends on who gets to you first. So yeah, if memory serves, we are that Harbinger team. I wish there were more I could do, but I'm stuck my neck out as far as I'm leading to. Good luck. Assuming you survive, expect a full report in the first prototype. So the first prototype is the point man. The main character in Fear One, you know that, that that's you in the first game. Gee, damn! I missed the series. It's too bad that it largely died. Let's use the flashlight. Here we go. So there's nothing to pick up here, right? Because once we go there, I don't think we can go back. Press Z. 
to press medikit. I mean to use medikit. Detonate. Here you go. Oh yeah, we've already read that one. How do we... Okay. There you go. Only carry three at a time. Press Z to activate a medikit. Okay, we should remember that. G is for grenades, right? Yep. Holding the G, okay? Your head. Okay, so unlike other games, you can cook the grenade. Release the grenade before. Okay, got that one. Like I've said, it's very underwhelming, the way the SMG... Whoa. Is he dead? Okay, he's dead. So like I've said, it doesn't really sound convincing. The Andra SMG. It sucks monkey balls. But in Fear 3, the SMG sounds even more badass than in Fear 1. So there is that. But the, the series largely takes a nosedive as the devs, you know, jumped on the COD bandwa bandwagon. Okay, so this... Uh, yeah, this doubles back. So our health is full, but our armor has taken a beating. We're like 50% armor and 100% health. You can't lean left and right in this game, right? Nope. Any more? Well, that was easy. I think there are, there are more that will pop up here. There you go. So these guys are just... What do you call this? Um, what, what's what's the name of their unit? Armacam, Armacam something something. They're just security guards for the company. So they're not really that much of a threat. But further on in the game, you'll meet the replica. The clone troopers, which will pose even more of a threat than these ones. So you can go here, right? Yep. Submachine gun full, so let's... Okay, I thought it was a shotgun. What was I thinking? Got one with a grenade. Okay, we got them all. It's nice. Submachine gun full. Oh. 
<laughs> I nearly forgot that we can carry three. I think in fear one you cannot hoard medicates. It's only here that you can do that. I'm not running into much resistance. Me neither. Guess they're all going after buckets. I got this sector. All quiet. What's your status? You know I should have used the submachine gun. We know there's spare bullets here. What the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm playing with the film green on, so you might wonder why it's so grainy. I believe it ups the horror um, factor. Playing with the. F okay, I remember this part. <laughs> I do not like this part. Whoa. Okay, I didn't see that. Maybe something appeared, but. Yeah, it's just as well that I turned around. So Ratburn 1, Fear 2 Dabs 0. Yeah, because in Fear 1, it, it's just... So that was Genevieve Aristide, judging from the way that our comm system didn't identify her as one of us, one of our squads. So yeah, in the first fear, it was revealed that they locked Alma up in a containment chamber, much like in you know that movie Strange, that series Stranger Things, where they. They put Eleven into that uh, sensory deprivation tank. So that's what happened in Fear 1 2. Except of course the disturbing thing is that the one who put there, there, was her own father, Harlan Wade. Where am I? S there you go. 100% armor. Awesome, awesome. Um, flashlight. Nothing here. Oh, sorry about that. Game saved. So. Oh, we don't have any grenades. I was I kept pressing G. That was stupid. These guys go down easy. We're playing on normal, right? It feels like it's too easy. Um, game settings. Yeah, it's so normal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Board of Directors has re reviewed your report on this morning's massacre, the Perseus compound, and the crisis unfolding at our Fairport HQ. So those two events are in Fear 1, if memory serves, not in the expansion, which were all rendered non-canon, sadly. I, you know, this is an unpopular opinion, but I kind of enjoyed that second Fear 1 DLC. The the Perseus Mandate, if memory serves. It was the scariest of the 
fear franchise, if you ask me. Frank Lakers is exactly the sort of transparent finger pointing we've come to expect from you ever since you went behind our backs and reopened the vault. The cost of your monumental stupidity and the arrogance and arrogance can't be calculated at this juncture. It is the board's view that the entirety of our Fairport operation is a total loss and that you are solely responsible. Your excuses are scapegoating and scapegoating do nothing to change the fact that you personally instigated this disastrous course of action. <laughs> Carson Salyers. Yeah, there you go, ATC. So these are ATC security ops, guys. That was the acronym I was trying to remember earlier. So the events of this game parallels that of Fear 1 in the sense that this happens just before the nuclear explosion that happened at the end of the first game. So let's sprint, go upstairs. Oh. That actually scared me. Locked. I hate that whispering. Okay, accelerating the Harbinger schedule. Get lab results from Terry. Page Dr. York for operations. Go to... Don't forget contact lens case. Okay. So she was making preparations before all these this uh, hit hit the fan. Okay, so there's Alma giving us some clues. But we'll just go here and search for supplies. Maybe you can find an armor vest. Nope, nope. Harlan, this can't go on. She's too dangerous. You're telling me to seal my daughter away. You knew it would come to this. We both knew. But in the end, yeah. He did seal his daughter away. Harlan, Harold Keegan, Sergeant First Class. So that's the dude who got shot, right? Average, telesthetic potential, excellent. Subject has excellent academic and military service record. Swell above average, but his mental stability is a concern. Recommend four month. That should have a hyphen. Grammar Nazi! As opposed to the usual nine months. Further attunement, attunement may not be required. Approved. Michael Beckett, that's us. So we are all astound, outstanding. His Paragon scores are the best I've ever seen aside from the... Yeah, the origin prototypes were the, the point man, your character in figure one, and Pax and Faddle. There you go. So they deemed Baxton Fettel as a success while the point man, point man was discarded. However, I cannot, for the life of me, um, connect why from Armacom point man found his way into the fear unit, the first, week, first encounter assault weekend unit. Sergeant Beckett, where's the rest of the team? We don't have much time. You and your squad are the only hope of stopping Alma. There you go, that's her. This was the cinematic in the first game. My and god. She kills her father. It's her. Stubborn son of a bitch probably just killed us all. I think it was an act of redemption for him. He released his daughter. Sergeant Beckett, what's wrong? What is it? Okay, I'm not feeling so good, Mr. Stark. I don't want to go. So this happened during the time that 
Thanos not snap his gong. Kidding, guys. <laughs> that is not funny. Not funny at all. Raise yourselves for the cinematic of the century. So this was the event that capped Fear One. Their mission was interrupted by a catastrophic explosion that seems to have originated in the Auburn Industrial District of Fairport. The extent of the damage is impossible to estimate. The fate of your team is a mystery. So if you remember, uh, the Fairport was mentioned in one of those intel pieces. So that was it. That was the culmination there. The, I think there's the Perseus compound or the other one? Because your character in the first one. Still dilating. Cinematic. The meds. Check the dosage. This shouldn't be happening. If that doesn't work. What's going on, Doctor? One moment. Hold the lidocaine and check his pressure. Damn it. Grab the crash cart. It could be in V. Charge to two hundred. No. Ventricular fibrillation. That's not good. He's alive, but we're moving too fast. We we need to. That did it. Yeah, it. Stand by with that morphine. Four meds. Let's tack a card. We need to stabilize before progressing. No time. Heartbeat is above average. He's unstable. Progressing now would be a mistake. You're putting. Set the three on You'll feel a little pinch. Now. You know, the first time I played this game, I stopped being scared when I saw Sexy Elma. <laughs> Not that MS shaded one that you just saw. The fully flashed one. You'll see. Wait, we've consumed already 13 minutes, so I don't think you'll see that cin particular cinematic. Objectives. Vitals are nearly back to normal. Final activation surgery. Medivac from blast zone. Do not let patient leave room. <laughs> kind of too late for that. We are leaving this room. Oh. Okay, that's not good. Find some weapons. Of course, eventually, it's quite predictable that you will find a weapon of sorts in this facility. Because if not, it won't be much of a first person shooter now, would it? Ok, 
Okay, Cedric Griffin. Who is that? That's... That's the black guy, right? The one they call Top? Okay, so as you can see in the intel, we're candidates for some kind of psychic experiment. Separate from the one the point man and action fatal underwent. Can we find here? <laughs> Reminds me of that uh, playable teaser. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I didn't see that. Whatever scare that was. So, fear 2 devs still at 0. Retroburn at 2. Retroburn at 3. <laughs> Martin C. <laughs> I actually have a friend named Martin and his surname is Cruz. So that might be him. Taking a screenshot. <sighs> okay, we can get in there. Jankowski. Marred by occasional reprimand, subject was first identified as potential harbinger. Spencer was recruited for first encounter assault. Okay, so they are connected. ATC is connected with the fear. They know about the fear unit. That's weird. I don't remember this. Sorry about that. Okay, we serve. So, Armacam knows about the fear unit. Th that part is very nebulous to me. I should play the entire series again. Fear 3 sucked big time in terms of being a fear game, but they did explain quite extensively Point Man's relationship with Bax and Fatal during their younger younger years inside the facility. Uh, leave no stolen unturned, so you're going to Okay, so this is locked. First three activation surgeries appear to have been a resounding success. Still in pre-op. Separate wings to minimize pre-conscious telepathic interf interference with the attunement process. Okay, so that was us. We were kind of resilient. It's the same board, what? So no other way to go but here. Okay. Even the first time, that didn't scare me. What I really don't like about Fear is that they have vastly different clone troopers in terms of aesthetics. They've changed the armor and all that. So my logic is this, like if this, this if this parallels the event of the first fear, how come that the body armor of the clone troopers are aren't the same? Colonel Bannon, this is Samuel. Looks like we got another soldier loose in the recovery 
Okay, so now we've alerted that we are here. Yeah, yeah. So let's go here. I didn't think we've explored the other parts. I think this is locked, right? Oh, it's not. Oh. Ooh, scary. <laughs> okay, that one got me. Fear to devs one, Retroburn three. Let's turn off the flashlight. Because in the first game, if you turn your flashlight on and there are clone troopers, they can detect that. That was a mechanic that largely impressed me the first time I played this one. Sergeant Beckett! Thank God you're okay! I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to get you to the TAC lab. Hurry, and be careful. Vanek's men are attacking the facility. I can't believe he'd go to this extreme to cover up evidence. Okay, so we only have five minutes left, but I think we'll just finish this level before cutting this video. Okay, there you go. Hallelujah! Facility has just come under, under attack by Black Ops team under the direct command of Colonel Richard Vanek, who is acting on the orders of the ADC Board of Directors. Okay, ev everything and everyone in it. Only the main entrance is compromised at this point, so evacuate through any of the... Still no weapons. Careful, Sergeant Beck. You're about to stumble into an ambush. This is a secure channel. Identify yourself. He must be monitoring us on the security cameras. So where are the security cameras? No weapons though. I don't remember me progressing this far into the complex without finding a weapon. How much of this junk we gonna burn? Nice, awesome. I think later on in the game you'll find out that he's he's an, a 1980s nut if memory serves and he watches movies like you know uh, stuff like Kung Fury <laughs> so that's what where he, he got his name from snake fist Jeebus man So I think they can go back there, right? And Yeah, we can, we can, we can. So let's finish this encounter and then go back to get that armor. Judging from the music, they're still 
There you go. You know, back when I was younger, I finished all the fear games without using slow-mo at the hardest difficulty setting. But I don't think I can do that now. Ten years later. Man, it has been quite a while. Feels good to be back. Whoa, whoa. The efforts nearly depleted our armor. You hear that? Where is that room of the armor? Let's go back there. Claim it. Claim it. <laughs> I'm not a Native American. I mean, I'm not a Eng Native English speaker, so forgive the lapses. <laughs> Claim it. What? So where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? I think we're carrying a, tr a whole truckload of grenades. We should expand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, as much as possible, I really don't like the slow mo mechanic. It makes the game too easy. Can you do moves like in the first game? Like say, oh, there you go. So you can still slide kick in this one. Kind of like Sub Zero in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that got them all? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So there are, there are two grenades, so we can waste two more. Because we can still replenish. That's the way I think. <laughs> okay, let's not pick up the... So we can see whoever is hiding in there. But there you go. Smart move, miss. I think troopers will arrive once we push this button right here. Advance! Advance! Oh yeah, there you go. Wait. I forgot about that mechanic. Load from last save. I suck. Advance, advance. But yeah, let's finish this. Oh! 
Oh man! <laughs> what the? <laughs> Jeebus! Okay, so that's it, I think. Got the armor. And then all the ammo. I think this ends our random round, because once you get on that elevator, I think it's going to load into another area. So if you, if you want more Fear 2 guys, just comment. But if not, I'm going to move on to another random round video. And once my GTX 1050, I mean 1060 arrives, like I've said in my channel update in the last video I made, I'm going to resume my Let's Play Subnautica and Let's Play Kenji. And of course, always the freeware front videos that I... Okay, so it's not... This level is still not ending, so... Wait, we'll, we'll mow down another group and then we'll end the video after that. Because we've already consumed more than 56 minutes. Whoa. Whoa. They did a number on my armor. A G dam. Let's hope there's one here. Oh, nothing. Okay, so yeah, let's end the video here. So this has been Retroburn and you've just seen my random round video featuring Fear 2. We did this because it's a few days back. It was the 10th year anniversary of this classic of this award-winning series that sadly went largely downhill from the first game. So yep, this has been Retroburn and if you like my content, please like this video, share it, comment. It would go a long way in supporting my efforts to produce more videos for you, my fellow PC gamers. Stay cool, stay frosty.